Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to block websites using OpenDNS. This is good for home users, but it's great for small or medium sized companies. I'm going to show you guys how to set this up from scratch. The link is in the description box below. Now, once you get to the website, click on the Home DNS tab and click Get Started under Parental Controls. I'm going to use the free version for this tutorial. Click on the Open DNS Home. Remember, even though it says Home, you can actually use it for a small or medium sized company and it's still free. Sign up now and create your free account. Once you create a free account, you'll receive a confirmation email. Now, once you're done, click on Continue. And I'm already logged in as you can see here. If you have a DNS server, select DNS server. If you have a router, click on router. Now select the router that your company is using or in your home. I have a Linksys router here. They have a video also explaining more or less the same thing. And then select the model of your router. Now here, is going to explain to you how to configure your DNS in your router. All you need to do is grab the uh, DNS address and place it in your router. Really simple. Now I'm using a Linksys router so I'm gonna click here and it'll take me directly to the uh, router configuration window or I can just type it in in the search. I don't want to lose this window because I want to go back to it so I'm going to click on the link and then type the username and password for the router if you don't know I have a link in the description box that will give you the default username and password for many routers out there once you type your credentials click on OK and then go to setup most of the routers the DNS is located under the setup tab and here plug in the address of the DNS given by OpenDNS I have already plugged in the uh, address and then save my settings click on continue here now once you're done click on start type CMD if you're using Windows Vista or 7 and press enter and now type ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS and press enter perfect now close the um, command prompt window now the browser cache I'm gonna I have Firefox so I'm gonna click on the drop down here history clear recent history and then select everything and clear now now if you're using Internet Explorer or Safari something like that they have the instructions on how to clear cache in those browsers I have received my confirmation email clicked on the link and it took me here so now click on add a network and here it automatically detected my IP address if it doesn't you can always go to Google and type what is my IP and it will come up and then you can plug it in here and then click on add this settings give it a friendly name I'm gonna name this avoid errors and now if you're using dynamic or static now if you're not sure if you're using dynamic IP or static IP leave the check mark on and download the OpenDNS updater for Windows. That way you can keep OpenDNS updated with a new IP address. I have a static IP address and click on done. Also you can call your ISP and they will able to they are able to help you uh, with that question if you're using a static or dynamic. Now click on the IP here and you have all different settings. 
but before I continue I want to make sure that my DNS is actually working so I'm gonna go back to the um, configuration window that I showed you uh, a little while back let me go back here to get started open the DNS home here sign up now select routers they usually have a link here but I couldn't find it so I'm just gonna go back to the beginning as if I was configuring the uh, router now in the uh, on the bottom here it says test your new settings go ahead and test it and you should receive the uh, success you're now using OpenDNS click on the OpenDNS dashboard and now any changes that you make now they will be uh, in effect so click on the settings tab click on the IP again and now here you can select high moderate low and if you're not sure what is gonna block you can always click on the view and it tells you adware and a brief description of what it means <clears throat> peer to peer file sharing social networking adult themes etc I like to use the custom I like to have more control of what I block now under custom I can check mark whatever it is that I want to be blocked in my business or at home for example sexuality adult themes pornography especially on a work environment you're paying them a lot of money so why would you let them go to those sites if you're not sure what you're check marking you can always hover on top of any of them and it'll give you a brief description of what you're blocking now chat here so you can block aim peer-to-peer -peer file sharing video sharing like YouTube they shouldn't be there while you're paying them I don't know 18 20 bucks an hour and then click apply and it'll take effect within three minutes or so now let's say you check mark video sharing but you know YouTube is gonna be blocked from that you can always enable it by going clicking on the drop down select never block and then at youtube.com and that way all the video sharing site will be blocked except YouTube the same applies for social networking if you have someone working on your social media make sure that on his or her computer you have manually typed in the DNS address given by your ISP that way he can bypass these settings thank you for watching this video my name is Miguel if you have any questions feel free to post them in the comment section below thank you